name is Ashante F. and I'm the CEO and founder of A Perfect Swing Inc. from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hello, I'm Clarence Anthony, the CEO and Executive Director of the National League of Cities, and great to be in Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. I'm Malachi Knowles, the founder of the African American Golfers Hall of Fame. I'm just so delighted to be with you all this afternoon. Yes. Well, the great thing about being here is being able to meet fantastic people, and so my role here is just to interview fantastic people. And Ashante, why don't you talk about Perfect Swing and the basis and mission of it that you founded in North Car Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. Well, I, one, thank you for having me. And one thing I have to say about this event is that it's absolutely awesome. It's a great time to meet business professionals, and that's actually how I met uh, Mr. Malachi Knows. And the Perfect Swing Inc. has two branches, the Perfect Swing Golf Association and then the Perfect Swing Foundation. And the Perfect Swing Golf Association is just business professionals who understand that the value of golf and interacting with people that play golf can impact their lives. People come to us have never played golf before, never picked up a club, and what we specialize in is helping them getting on the course. You can take courses with us, or you can take your golf lesson somewhere else. But we help you matriculate onto the course because we want you to use those communication skills and networking skills to help you in your career. And also as a part of A Perfect Swing Inc., we have the foundation where we introduce youth to the game of golf. And the thing that is very particular about our foundation and our youth is that the association really creates a village. We take our business professionals, give them an opportunity to interact with the business, uh, with the youth, so that not only can our youth see that there are people in professions that they can one day be in, but they give them someone to touch, someone that they can ask questions to. And when we talk about our youth, you know, in the news today, there are a lot of things that people are saying about how, you know, we're, we're losing some of our youth and some of the, you know, things like that. The reality is, is that we have to give them something to look forward to. We have to build that hope, we have to build that, that passion in them sometimes because they may not get it at home, right? And what a perfect swing does as a whole is creates the village to foster our children, but also help other business professionals network together, and we enjoy the game of golf and live life to its fullest. Okay, so there's 19,000 cities, towns, and villages throughout America. Mm -hmm. What is the perfect community to create um, a partnership? What, what makes perfect swing works in cities? What do you need to make it work? So, so what we need is, one, people that have a, a, a passion for service, because that's what it is, right? You're gonna play golf, but you may play with people that may not be at your skill level, and you're okay with that. It's still, a, it's still service, right? I'm understanding that, hey, I've been through it. We all been through the growing phase of playing golf, right? But that same passion, that same service that you see with peer to peer, same for you. You, we all were youth, right? And seeing that, listen, maybe there was someone along the way to help me, a teacher, a pastor, a community center advisor, whoever the case may be, right? You can be that bridge when you just serve someone else, right? And you know, in our busy lives, I, I'm actually, a, you know, an engineer for Microsoft, and we all get busy mm -hmm. in the day-to-day -day stuff. And sometimes you can get overwhelmed. But one, I found that one of the, the greatest stress relievers is just serving somebody else. Taking it off of you and putting it on somebody else, right? And I think that's, that's what it's all about. And if you find people that have a heart of service, there's nothing else you can't do, right? Learning how to write, uh, write grant letters, there are examples on the internet, right? <laughs> right? Oh, we need hands. <laughs> we need people to do the work. And children can see that passion. You know, to, today, we had a seminar and people were talking about how, you know, people should go into to, um, these communities and do seminars. No, we need people to take and, and create a village in these areas, right? So that they know, no one wants you to just come for a day and then bring your media coverage, right? No, they want you to sow a seed into their community. Well, I got to tell you, what an honor to meet Shante and her commitment to making our cities, town, and villages better in America. And you know what golf is about, what BET, Black Enterprise, uh, uh, Golf and Tennis uh, Weekend is about, it's about bringing people together, about bringing our community together, making our communities better. And as the CEO of the National League of Cities, what an honor to meet someone who is so committed to making our community better, making our kids stronger, and learning about principles that's going to make their life more valuable. Thank you all very much from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida.